Reasons You're Afraid to Succeed, Part 3. Welcome to Startup Life Support, the place where we trade excuses for solutions. I'm your coach, Aisha Cogmore. Now, if you've been away for the past couple of weeks, then you've been missing some good stuff because we've been talking about the reasons that you're afraid to succeed. So if you missed it, go back, watch the last two videos. Not right now though, wait till this one finishes, then go back, watch those, it's good stuff, you'll be glad you did. But now let's go ahead and jump into today's reason why you're afraid to succeed. Because you're afraid it's not going to bring the happiness that you're expecting. I mean, we've all done this before. You think to yourself, my life is going to be so wonderful when fill in the blank. And then that thing happens, but the eternal sunshine and the rainbows and the dancing unicorns never show up. And when it comes to our business, especially if it's connected to something that we've been dreaming about for years, we can be afraid that when we reach that mountaintop experience, that we've been talking about and telling everybody about and journaling about that it's not going to live up to all the hype that we created in our head. And then we're not gonna be happy. But when did happiness become this, this place that you can just type in in the GPS, arrive and camp out forever? It doesn't work like that. It is a completely unrealistic expectation to put that on anything or anybody. And our businesses are a lot like relationships. You're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days. But the important thing is to figure out what happens that leads to those bad days and try to do less of that. Now, if you do find that you've built what I like to call a Frankenstein business and it becomes the source of all of your frustration and anxiety and every issue in life points back to the business, then it may be time to make some changes. But here's what you want to remember. Even if you've reached that mountaintop, there's always going to be a new mountain to climb, whether it's personally or professionally, that will bring back a sense of excitement and fulfillment to your life. So that's it for this week. How are you dealing with this whole fear of success thing? Let's talk about it. And you know what? I think we might talk about that Frankenstein business thing. We might talk about that next week. So be sure that you tune back in. So until next time, have a wonderful week on purpose. <laughs>